Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to talk about sex linked inheritance. What do you mean by sex linked inheritance? When a gene for a particular disease which is on X chromosome passes through next generation and causes the same disease in the next generation. This phenomenon is called sex linked inheritance. So when a gene for a particular disease on X chromosome passes through next generation and responsible for the disease in the subsequent generations. What are the types of sex linked inheritance? We have two types mainly X linked dominant inheritance and X linked recessive inheritance. We have other inheritance patterns like uh, y linked inheritance, XY linked inheritance, but for you, uh, these two are enough, these two are important X linked dominant inheritance and X linked recessive inheritance. Let's see what is X linked dominant inheritance. This type of inheritance is very rare. Fathers do not transmit the disease to their sons. If the father is affected with the X linked dominant inheritance, some X linked dominant disorder, then they cannot transmit the disease to their sons because sons will receive their X chromosome from mothers. Fathers will give Y chromosomes to son. So, if the father is having some disease uh, gene on X, on X chromosome, so they transmit the X chromosome to daughters but not to sons. You have to remember this point. Mothers can only transmit the X linked dominant disorders to both daughters and sons because mothers will have two X chromosomes. So, uh, mothers uh, can only transmit the X linked dominant disorders to both daughters and sons. Okay, father can transmit the disease only to daughters but not to sons. Okay, the disease is very lethal in males. Lethal means it is very. Uh, dangerous in males, it may lead to death also. Let's understand it in the schematic representation. So, this is affected father. You can see here some gene is missing. Okay. You can see the mother's uh, X chromosomes, they are normal. So, uh, this uh, empty box is affected. Uh, full box is unaffected. Okay. Same thing follows here. You see, the father is affected, but he will transmit only Y chromosomes to son. So, X chromosome of mother, Y chromosome of father is received by son. That's why the, uh, the son is unaffected. You see here, daughter. Daughter will receive X chromosome from father and X chromosome from mother. So, here the father's X chromosome is affected. That's why the daughter is also affected. Again, you see uh, the son receives X chromosome from mother, Y chromosome from father. So, he is also unaffected. See here again the same thing. Daughter receives one X chromosome from father, other X chromosome from mother. That's why the daughter is affected. So, all daughters will be affected if the father is affected. All sons. So, the probability is 4 children. Each carries 25%. Okay. So, all sons be uh, normal if the father is affected. What are the examples of X-linked dominant disorders? Okay. So, you have two fragile X mental retardation and familial hypophosphatemic crickets. These two conditions are examples for X-linked dominant disorders. Now let's talk about X-linked recessive inheritance. Sons are very badly affected than daughters because sons will have only single X chromosome whereas females have extra X chromosome to balance the affected chromosome. Sons are very badly affected here also. In X-linked dominant disorder also, you, uh, you have seen that sons uh, have very lethal codes. Okay. 
females will have extra x chromosome that's why uh, it balances the affected chromosome so females will have uh, less severe disease they may be normal also sometimes they can lead normal life examples for x linked recessive inheritance you have two examples color blindness and hemophilia okay this is the last slide listen it uh, carefully so we are talking about hemophilia this is x linked recessive disorder you see here he is father carrying xy chromosome but the father is normal he is unaffected you see here one x chromosome is affected so in females if one x chromosome is affected it is called carrier if the mother is uh, having normal x chromosomes then the mother is unaffected if the father carries one affected x chromosome then he will uh, express the disease so he is diseased male hemophilia for female both x chromosome should be affected if one x chromosome is affected she is called carrier if both x chromosomes are affected she is a uh, deceased person female hemophilia now you see here uh, both father and mother are normal so children are also normal sometimes what happen even if the mother and father are normal uh, spontaneous mutations can occur suddenly some mutation can occur in the son or daughter in any one any of the children so this is very rare if the mother and father are fine uh, children will be normal usually okay very rarely some spontaneous mutation can happen so now you know both conditions where uh, father and uh, mother are normal and uh, you have seen the children will be normal mostly rarely they may be affected one of the child may be affected uh, either male child or female child now let us see suppose the father is normal but the mother is carrier carrier means one x chromosome is affected so what are the chances uh, she will give birth to uh, an affected male child a carrier child and two normal children okay this is the probability suppose if the father is affected and mother is carrier then two children will be affected one child will be carrier and other child will be normal so 75% of the children are affected only one child that is 25% is normal if you have only diseased father and normal mother then father will transmit the disease to daughters only so daughters will become carriers mother will give x chromosome to sons that's why sons are normal if the father is affected if father if if father is only affected and the mother is normal then we have all carrier females okay and normal sons if mother is carrier one daughter will be carrier and one son will be affected if father is mutant and uh, mother is carrier then three children will be affected one child will be one female child will be carrier and one son will be uh, normal okay these are all the possibilities so you have to counsel the uh, couples if both are normal okay if uh, the female person is carrier then you have to screen the male person if he is normal uh, at least uh, two children will be normal if father is affected you have to screen the mother also if it is if she is normal only daughters will become carriers okay if both uh, hemophiliac persons get married then almost all children will be affected so you have to counsel the couple if one person is suffering from hemophilia so he should not marry another hemophiliac uh, female or male person